welcome back to Tech Logics. In this part of our Prima camera setup series, I will show you how to enable the Onviv protocol on a Prima IP camera SDQC model and how to successfully add it to a Hikvision NVR or DVR. Many users face difficulty when trying to connect Prima or third-party cameras with Hikvision recorders, so this step-by-step -step tutorial will guide you easily. Before we start, make sure to install the Prima ODDT tool and web plugin on your computer. If you haven't, check out the other part of this series for detailed instructions. Once you have the ODDT tool and web plugin installed, you can begin configuring your SDQC model IP camera. Keep in mind, Hikvision's SADP tool only detects Hikvision devices and will not find Prima SDQC cameras due to their unique firmware. That's why you need the Prima ODDT tool to search, activate, and configure Prima devices. Let's get started with ODDT. The Prima ODDT tool can now detect all Prima cameras, including STQC approved models, which will immediately appear on the device list. This makes managing your Prima CCTV devices quick and easy. If you have a new Prima IP camera and are using it for the first time, you must activate it before you can use it. Activation can be done using the ODDT tool or through a web browser. Today, we'll demo the process using a web browser. Open your web browser, either Chrome or Edge, and enter the camera's IP address to access the web interface. If a security warning pops up, don't panic. Click Advanced and then select Proceed to the IP address. This is common with some cameras on local networks, and it's safe to continue. Once the login page loads, you may need to activate the camera if it's not already activated. If it's already activated, you can log in directly to access the camera's configuration. Enter your password to create and activate the camera. After setting your password, you'll be prompted to add security questions for password recovery. This feature is very handy if you ever forget your password, allowing you to reset it easily without hassle. You can choose questions like, what's your favorite camera model, or what's your pet's name, then set your answers. It takes just a minute to set up and can save you a lot of trouble later. Proceed directly to enable or update the Onviv feature on your camera. Start by going to the main configuration page and quickly access the system page to check the current firmware version. If the firmware version is below or the same as version 5.8.5 build, you must upgrade it to the latest version. Upgrading the firmware is essential to enable network services and access advanced features available on the latest firmware. Note, each camera model has a specific firmware upgrade. Ensure you only upgrade with the firmware that matches your particular camera model. In this demo, we used a specific model during the upgrade. You can download the appropriate firmware from Prima India support, or find links in the video description, where we may provide firmware for some models. Navigate to the Maintenance page, where you will find the Upgrade option. Under the Local Upgrade tab, click the folder icon to browse and select the firmware file you have downloaded. Locate the firmware on your computer, select it, and then click the Upgrade button. The upgrade process will take a few minutes. During this time, do not disconnect the power or the network cable from the camera. Important, always ensure the firmware matches your specific camera model. Using the wrong firmware can cause the camera to malfunction or even damage its internal components. Once the firmware upgrade process is complete, the camera will automatically reboot. After rebooting, open your web browser, enter the camera's IP address, and log in using your admin credentials as usual. This allows you to access the camera's settings and verify that the upgrade was successful. For a more stable connection and improved performance, it is recommended to set a fixed IP address for the camera. To do this, navigate to the Configuration menu, then go to the Network tab. Disable the DHCP option and manually enter a fixed IP address based on your network requirements. Setting a fixed IP address is optional but highly recommended for cameras used in continuous surveillance or remote access. After entering the fixed IP, the camera will reboot to apply the new settings. Remember, this new IP address will be used to access the camera going forward. Once the camera restarts with the new IP address, 
you will need to enter this IP in your browser along with your admin login to access the camera's live view and settings. Ensuring the correct IP is entered is crucial for consistent access and management of the camera. First, let's prepare the camera to work smoothly with third-party devices and ensure secure communication. To do this, navigate to the Configuration menu, then select Network, followed by the Network Service page. This section controls the network-related functionalities of the camera. Next, go to the HTTPS tab within the Network Service page. Under the HTTP Authorization menu, locate the Digest Algorithms setting. Select MD5-SHA256 from the options provided and save the configuration. Enabling this option ensures that when the camera communicates over HTTPS, it uses secure hash algorithms to protect data and credentials from being intercepted or compromised. Why is this important? Using MD5-SHA256 for digest authentication enhances security by hashing authentication credentials, making it difficult for unauthorized users to access the camera via web interfaces or API calls. It adds an extra layer of protection, especially important when the camera is accessed across a network. Then, move to the RTSP tab within the same network service page. Find the RTSP authorization menu and set the digest algorithms to MD5-SHA256 as well. Save these settings. Securing RTSP streams prevents unauthorized access to live video feeds, which is crucial for maintaining surveillance privacy and security when sharing streams with third-party systems. Once both the HTTPS and RTSP digest options are configured, proceed to the Network Advanced Settings section. Here, locate the ONVIF feature toggle and enable it by switching it on. Enabling ONVIF is essential because it allows the camera to communicate with third-party network video management systems, VMS, and recorders that support ONVIF protocol standards. After activating ONVIF, click the Add button to create a user account for ONVIF authentication. Enter a username and a strong, complex password. This account will be used by third-party devices or software to access the camera securely. Set the user as administrator to allow full access necessary for seamless integration. It's important to save all your configurations after making these changes. Saving ensures that the camera applies the settings properly and that the ONVIF communication is enabled and secure. Now, your camera is ready to interact reliably with other network devices. To integrate a Prima camera with ONVIF enabled into your Hikvision DVR or NVR, you can do this either through the web browser interface or directly via the monitor connected to the device. Start by accessing the camera management section within the system. On the IP channel, select the Quick Add option. If the DVR or NVR detects an ONVIF enabled camera on the network, it will automatically recognize and add the camera without manual input. This makes the setup process quick and straightforward, especially when the camera and recorder are on the same network. If the automatic detection does not find the camera, or you prefer manual addition, click the Add button to open the camera adding page. Here, you need to enter the camera's details manually. Set the protocol to ONVIF, then input the camera's IP address in the designated field. For protocol selection, choose ONVIF, set the management port to 80, or the port configured on the camera if different, and enter the username and password you created specifically for ONVIF access in the camera settings. This user account should have sufficient permissions to allow the camera to communicate properly with the recorder. Once all the details are entered, click the OK button to save the settings. The system will then attempt to connect and add the camera to the NVR or DVR. When successfully added, the camera's status will display as online, indicating it is now integrated and functioning correctly. This method ensures that your ONVIF-enabled Prima camera is properly connected and accessible through your Hikvision device, allowing seamless live viewing and recording. Proper credential entry and network configuration are essential for a stable connection. If you found this video helpful, we'd really appreciate your support. Please like the video, share it with others, or subscribe to our channel. Your engagement helps us create more valuable content for you. Thank you for being part of the TechLogix community.